Scene one, English. Take two, marker. What up guys, welcome to this week's video of how to be a teenager. Um, this week we're going to be talking about self-image. It's going to be lots of fun, it's a very, very important topic, so yeah, yeah. enjoy. So self-image, it's very, actually you can go on and on and on talking about it, but um, we're going to just go through the basics and once again, just some basic things that every teenager has to deal with, and then we um, we'll see where it goes. Yeah, and this is our opinions, what we've experienced, nothing factual. Um, take it with a grain of salt. And um, yeah, we're just sharing what we've learned and what we've experienced. This is our experience as Jesus followers. Um, so if you guys are not Jesus followers, um, Be I'll Jesus followers. I check him out sometimes soon. <laughs> He's got some very valid points. First of all, when it comes to self-image, many times we can struggle with self-image because we don't know how to feel about ourselves, we don't know how to go about it. Just one very important point that I would like to mention is what God made is good. Um, mm -hmm. In the beginning when God made everything, He was like, this is good. Nothing comes out of His so-called laboratory without His approval. Mm -hmm. That includes me, that includes you, it's like exactly, exactly the way you are. If you think, oh, my nose or my ears <laughs> or this or that, it's good. God <laughs> liked it. He approved of it 100%. So yeah, we are good. We are perfect in God's eyes, mm -hmm. like 100% perfect. And we are children of God. So that means um, in the beginning when God created man and he created the earth and everything, um, he created mankind in his own image. And for that fact that our self-image is going to be what what God says we are, mm. because we are made in His image. So He's the Creator, so we listen to the Creator. The product doesn't define itself, the Creator defines the product. Mm. So we ultimately, we look to what the Creator says about us, and He says everything is good, so that means we are good too. Amen. 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 That was good. <laughs> Next statement is, is that yours? So many times we have a self-narrative mm. and the narrative of ourselves that we have could be negative. Um, and many times we can feel like this is me, this is truth. But actually we should ask ourselves the question is, is that really me? Is that really mine? Or is it just the enemy trying to make me believe this is the truth? Because the enemy isn't going to say, oh, I'm the devil and I want you to think this. He's going to use the words I. He's going to use first person. He's going to think that I, I'm ugly. I am not good enough. Mm. I can't speak in front of people. I can't do this. I can't do that. And that's actually not the truth because what God, God says you can. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Mm. So is that really yours? You should ask yourself that question. When something pops into your head that's negative, is that actually yours? Yeah, and something very important to remember is the devil is the thief and the thief came to kill, steal and destroy. Mm -hmm. And he wants to destroy your self-image because if he destroys your self-image, it's like, I can't go out there and talk to other people because I'm ugly mm -hmm. and they won't accept me. And it's this very, mm -hmm. y you get scared and you don't want to go out into the world. And that's what the devil wants. But we don't want that at all. So he makes us not want to go out into the world because he's now damaged our self-image. Mm. But that's not true. That's not who you are. All those voices, those eyes, that's not you. That's the devil. He's just lying to you. He's trying to steal from you. He's trying to take joy from you. And we are, we are Jesus followers. And that's not what Jesus has in mind for us. That's not what God has for mm. us. He's got something much better. And we can say, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. You know, I can do this. I've got this. I am perfect in God's eyes. He made me the way I am and he's happy. You know, you can look into the mirror and have a positive outlook and a positive speech towards yourself. You know, words have power. So use that power positively. Don't believe the lies of the devil. Kind of speak out and prophesy over yourself that mm. I am good looking. I am loved, you know, people will accept me. And that has power and that will go a long way. I mm. promise you, I've experienced it firsthand. It has a lot of power. Mm. And a little tip is talk to yourself the way you would talk to a good friend. Mm. When you're talking to a good friend, you won't lie, but you will be honest, but you'll also be kind. Mm. So 
speak to yourself the way you would speak to your good friend. And ultimately, Jesus is your good friend. So how would he talk to you? What would he say about that? That should be our focus, not necessarily us and us and us and us being like, mm. this, is, this is me and this is all up to me. It's about God and it's about what Jesus says about us. So we can live in that about that. Yeah. Yeah. And how does God see you? You know, knowing how God and Jesus sees you can be, it, it's, it's a revelation in itself. Knowing that I am loved, knowing that He accepts me for the way I am, whether my ears are big or not, whether I'm tall or short, it doesn't matter. It really does not matter. God loves you the way He is and being able to see yourself, oh, God loves you the way we mm. are. Not He loves, yeah, we love Him the way He is. <laughs> <laughs> but being able to see ourselves the way God sees us will give us a whole new freedom and outlook on life and that because god's god's thoughts for you are only positive he does not have a negative thought for you whatsoever it's all mm -hmm. positive so start thinking of yourself in that positive way the way god sees you look at yourself and say you know okay how does god see me i'm perfect in his eyes he made mm -hmm. me the way i am he loves me regardless of what i do or how i look and mm -hmm. hang on to that and it will give you tremendous tremendous freedom I think another point to that would be what you carry is more important than what you think about yourself, how you look, because you have something inside of you that God wants to use. But if you're not mm -hmm. going to feel good about yourself, you're not going to go out and share that with other people. And mm -hmm. that, that treasure that is inside of you will never come out. So it's important to have confidence, but not only in who we are, but in who God says we are. Yeah. And another very important thing is, guys, please, please don't let the media and social media, Instagram, mm. Facebook, don't let that define mm. you. That's, they never created you. They, they, that's not important. What mm. God says is important. Mm. Don't let the media discourage you. Don't look and say, oh, but you know, that guy's so strong. He's got a perfect six pack and look at his muscles. And for the woman, I mean, don't go look and say, oh, her body's so perfect. This, this, this. No. Mm. God made you the way you are. There is only enough space in the world for one you. Don't try to be someone else because God made them the way they are. And he didn't make you that way. He didn't want you that way. He mm. made you the way you are mm. because he wanted you and he needed you the exact way you are. Mm. So, no, yeah. so listen to the people who love you. Don't listen to the media. Listen to the people who love you. And who loves you the most ultimately who can love you who cannot love you any more than that person is god mm -hmm. so listen to god because he loves you and it doesn't matter what people who don't love who don't love you says about you because that's not important mm -hmm. it's important to listen to god and to listen to the people who love you who give you positive feedback and aff affirmation mm -hmm. so the thing we want to leave with you today is see yourself the way god sees you when you see yourself the way God sees you, you will fulfill and you will reach your ultimate potential. And that is so important because like we said, there is something inside of you that the world needs mm -hmm. and don't hold back about it. So know that your identity is in God, your identity lies in Christ and see yourself the way God sees you. Mm -hmm. very, so very we hope you enjoyed this week's video and we'll see you again next week. Bye. Bye.